we're used to IP addresses looking something like this 127.0.0.1 or 192.168.254.254 these are valid IP addresses these in this two case one is the local IPv4 loop back the second one is just an IP address that belongs to my router but did you know that IP addresses can actually be presented in another format called the octal format so technically by adding another zero and saying for example 100 100 the 100 that indicates to use in a sort of a decimal format to use an octal format which is based basically between zero and seven values and you use instead of using 10 power you use the eighth power so this is actually the value this is the ip address 64 64 64 64. so this means that by adding a zero the whole ip address changes and us as you know engineers when we try to parse and send this around the libraries that need to parse ip addresses just became more and more complicated just because this is a supported infrastructure because look at this for example this is zero set one seven seven zero zero one right if you look at this this is actually one two seven zero zero one which is the loop back and the reason is you would take so what you take is like you take seven times eight to the power zero which is one and that gives you seven and then you add so seven times eight gives you 56 and then finally the third part is one times eight to the power two which is 64 in this case so 64 plus 56 plus seven gives you one two seven so the most insightful thing here is not that extra annoyance that we have just to deal with you know understanding that there is another format you know i believe there is another binary format if you want to do that to present the ip addresses but the danger here is what if you have a library that did not do that proper parsing correctly what can go wrong and actually it did back in 2021 march specifically and i did cover this uh, quickly back in back in the days there is a very popular library called netmask it's a node library that is effectively used to parse ip addresses and it will show you what what that ip address is and has nice function that tells you oh, is this a local ho is this a loopback is this that is that that the bug was with netmask was that it was effectively treating this as just an a decimal instead of uh, octal so when you supply 001 it would convert this to 177.0.01 you might say who cares hussein <laughs> right this is, this is really a big deal should i really be worried <laughs> well that bug was long fixed but what could have happened is the following so imagine the following scenario you have built a backend that enables extensibility that means you want to let the client chooses which backend to connect to uh, so that the backend server effectively becomes uh, open and extensible one use case is the authorization server or authentication server so some clients supply the actual authentication server that they want to authenticate with and this is this is actually a common thing so you would supply the client will send the post request and will send which you which domain it won't use effectively and the server in the back in this case will do the logic it needs to do and it will connect on that behalf to that back end to that server in this particular case we're connecting to all server one and very similarly you can the client can build a different server and they hey i want to use this particular server because it has more features whatever right so you can hey go connect to auth, auth server too this is a very common paradigm a little bit extensible and obviously with extensibility we get bugs and security uh flaws and this is one case of a, a ser server side request forgery concept so what happened in this case if i pass and hey if i'm a, an a, 
an attacker and I want to misuse this API. And I buzz, hey, post query and please connect me to 127.0.0.1. Usually the backend will be properly authored to block requests that tries to connect to its local host because it's dangerous. You might have an admin API, you might have certain things that you don't want to people to connect to. And that's dangerous, right? And that's the only reason we why we listen on certain interfaces for secure API, right? Uh, that I don't want to expose to the whole public internet. I listen on certain interfaces, in this case the loopback. This will create a backdoor kind of a thing. But most backends, secure backend, will block that. Say, hey, if you try to connect one two seven zero zero, I'm I'm not gonna let you. So this call will actually fail. We're gonna block you. We're gonna detect that you're gonna try to do something shady. But guess what? What if I try to be clever as an attacker? I sent you the same request, but I changed that zero one seven zero one seven seven dot zero dot zero one. Hey, go ahead and connect to that. If you were using NetMask, NetMask at that stage where that had a bug, this would have been interpreted as a 177.0.0.1, which is a normal IP address that is technically public. And in that particular case, the NetMask uh, question to is this loop back will be false and that will skip your access control list. And as a result, the call will be allowed. So you will pass this API as is the string as is back to the network kernel and the network kernel obviously is written correctly. So it will, uh, it, will uh, it will interpret it as loop back because the bug was just only on your net mask, on, on your application level. So in that particular case, that IP address was end up in my local host, and you just bypassed all the security mechanism. So I just wanted to talk about how dangerous these, you know, interpretation. And just to summarize this video is, that's why I like things simple. You know, why did we need to have seven ways to represent the same thing it's always causing trouble always causing confusion you know the octal the binary format i think we should have stuck to decimal and we you know and this comes back to always bite me in in the butt when i design application the moment you give multiple options to do the same thing you're gonna forget eventually that oh these options exist and you're gonna create doors to you that that can cause trouble at the end always stick with simplicity even if it's not cool or hip you know to support multiple things support less features always more secure and you're gonna save yourself uh, an attack like this see you in the next one goodbye